I just can't let My worst nightmare. Dramatic. It's not. Hey, tried to let's get TMI. A normal person wouldn't be this stressed about a porta potty no situation, um, but I'm not a normal time. person. We're struggling. Like today, I made $34. 16 sales in three days. Now I wanna burn all the bridges between us. Happy market day. If you can't tell, it is pouring rain. I'm so glad I had Randy put the back to his truck bed, like the little covering over, because originally I wasn't gonna use it. All of my stuff would be soaked right now. So thank the Lord we remembered that. Um, I am in Inglewood right now. I try to go to Starbucks at like my local one, and you guys know that never works. Um, it's always in line for like five minutes and then just left. So hold on, let me order. Hi, um, can I just have a grande hot chai tea latte um, without water, please? Okay. Is that all for you? That is it. Five. Thank you. 6.05 for a grande. A grande. I used to buy those venties for $3.95. It's so disgusting. Why am I here? <sighs> Okay, anyways, um, I did not have to do any market prep this week, and you're doing back-to-back -back markets because of that. Like, normally I'd have a video of, like, in, at least one or two in between of being, like, this is what I did to prep. Um, we didn't have to prep anything, though. I made two of my crime cups to refill the two that sold at my last one, and then I actually just randomly made a couple of my Kim Kardashian sweaters because I'm sold out of them, and I was like, it's funny, I'll do just, I think I made three. I shouldn't have, but I did, and we're here, and so it's fine. <sighs> now I need to add funds to my Starbucks card. Done. Okay, let's go over goals for this week, and it's Friday, Saturday, Sunday. Friday is from 5 to 8. It's VIP night. People have to spend $20 to get in, um, and then every booth has to have a deal for them, so what I'm going to do is any purchase $30 or more, you can either pick a free Stanley charm or a free pair of earrings, which I think is a good deal. Um, and then Saturday and Sunday, it's free to get in. And um, it actually might be $5. $5 to free. <laughs> and it's from 10 a.m. until 5 p.m. on Saturday and then 10 to 2 on Sunday. My mom's helping me, thank God, for um, today to set up. I hope it stops raining. Oh, um, and then they're going to Vegas tomorrow morning, and so I'll be by myself Saturday and Sunday. So I'm hoping enough sells that Sunday I'm not struggling to get everything in the car. I need to just start bringing less stuff and be okay running out. And I never run out, so it's fine. That is going to be a new mental game changer, is bringing less stuff and being fine with it. Oh, I forgot. So the goal, money-wise, the booth was like 300-something, um, and so maybe it was 200-something. I'll put the actual price here, um, but the goal is going to be to at least double that. So let's say goal will be 600 for the weekend, and anything more than that will be great. <laughs> My goals will slowly get less and less the worse I do throughout these market events. <laughs> <laughs> but I think this will be a good one. It will be for sure better than my last one, right? Can that get worse? I don't think so. Um, actually, it could, and it has been. Polaris was by far, um, I lost money on that, a lot of money. So that was my worst, and will probably, hopefully, forever be my worst. All right, now I'm going to go. Bye.
15 minutes. I am finally finished setting up. It took me forever. I kept moving things. It's just I'm not used to having the charm bar. And I have like an aisleway like outside of my booth here. And so I'm like, how can I best make this for people to come in and see my stuff? So I moved my clothing rack to the other side so people can look through it, even if they're not trying to see my stuff. So, we're ready. I am very itchy. I am wearing all black again, so I'm just in the corner here, blending in like a lizard. I don't know what I'm, words I'm looking for. <laughs> um, my worst nightmare, dramatic, it's not. Um, one of my nightmares is that they don't have indoor plumbing, and so there's porta potties outside. I've already like internally had my moment with this. Um, my mom, okay. 70% of you are gonna think I'm way too extra for this. My mom already got me some water bottles and soap that I can go outside and wash my hands. Let me know if you have any questions. Um, and then other than that, we are, people are starting to come. So I'm excited and I'll like, tell you guys mid through. Let's get TMI. It is Saturday now. It is Saturday morning at 9.47 exactly. The market starts from 10 to 5 today. And just getting here, um, like I said, TMI. <laughs> I woke up this morning with some nasty cramps in my bowels. And so I thought I had like remediated the situation. Um, and I left and I wasn't going to get Starbucks, but immediately, like when I was on the road and it was too late, like I was like, I can't really, I could have turned, I should have turned back around. I was like, Oh, I'm going to have to go to Starbucks because, um, they have individual bathrooms. And if you know, you know, when it's more than just a, a quick stop, I needed to I needed to be alone for this. Um, and so I went in and my Starbucks sucks so much. They have always. And so it took, I I was gonna, I was like, well, and I have to order. I can't just like come in and like, they're gonna know if I just stay in the bathroom for too long. And so I was like, I'm gonna order my drink. I'm gonna go to the bathroom and then it'll be ready when I come out. And that's not what happened. It took them like, not joking, like a full five minutes I was the only one in there um, to take my order. The drive-through, because I, I told you guys, it's normally like wrapped around, like they're so slow, it normally just wraps around the building. Um, it wasn't, I could, if I wanted to, like if I didn't have to go inside the bathroom, I could have went and been in the drive-through. Um, but they were, I don't know, they just weren't taking my order. So it took five minutes. I was, I was, my lip was sweating. I was in so much pain. I had put my order in and immediately just like, without looking suspicious, ran to the bathroom. And um, yeah, and so anyways, and then I got out of the bathroom <laughs> and it took another 20 minutes for them to get my order to the counter. So I was in Starbucks for 25 minutes. And so I thought I was gonna be late, but I'm not. There's still 10 minutes still have to be in there. Um, so we're fine, we're good on time. And, but anyways, my biggest concern today is the whole bathroom situation. A normal person wouldn't be this stressed about a porta potty situation, um, but I'm not a normal person. You guys know this. If you're on my channel watching, you guys know this. And so I'm extra stressed. Like I couldn't, I can't stop thinking about, I have mild OCD if that has not been clear to you. And I've just been fixated on this porta potty situation. And the fact that my stomach is in shambles, um, just makes it so much worse. Um, I do have my soap and water. It's just like, I can't use a porta potty for anything other than peeing, you know? So am I gonna have to go to Arby's down the road during this? I don't think I'm allowed to, but I'm gonna have to do it if that's what it comes down to. So hopefully I don't. I wish I had Tums. I do not. I started my period. So this is all stemming from period, uh, day one. So, yep, that's what's happening. Um, last night I didn't update. Oh, P.S. This is what's like remnant of my arm. Poison oak. My leg. It's like down my entire leg. 
so I'm still in like long sleeves and pants but I'm still really cold and shivering because I lost a lot of skin I think um I did bring a blanket though yesterday I was so cold it did not go well yesterday but I didn't really expect it to because it was only open from five to eight and I think I told you guys it was twenty dollars to get in and so I had three sales one was from one of my friends who like um got in for free because she said she was with me because you can give two tickets out for last night's thing and then um I had two sweatshirt sales from um a girl that was doing crochet down a few booths away from me had her friends come and they were so sweet and they both got a coping skill sweatshirt so thank the lord for them I think I had $85 in sales yesterday um which isn't great because the market was upwards of 300 so I'm really hoping today goes better and I think it will because obviously you don't have to pay $20 now I, it's like $5 or free I don't know I'm so itchy I should have brought my itching cream um yeah so it's really cool because we're at the fairgrounds and there's a horse jockey that's practicing um down the street well not down the street but like down the row uh there's a couple of them my grandpa used to do that so it's kind of it's fun to see them it brings back memories so we're gonna go inside and i'll do my outfit of the day and we're gonna have a good day and i do have starbucks i have not taken a single sip of it because i do not want to make my situation worse right now i hope you enjoyed that way too much of um information uh see you soon
Keep my eyes open to force reality Why can't you just let me eat my weight in glee? I live inside my own world of make-believe Kids screaming in the cradles, profanities Some days I feel skinnier than all the other days Sometimes I can't tell if my body belongs to me I love everything Fire spreading all around my room My world's so bright, it's hard to breathe But that's alright Hush People don't want to be that, so I get it. I didn't even realize she's on the mannequin. The <laughs> air freshener is going back and forth if you're wondering what that is. I don't know if I'm gonna put this in the video right now. I'm feeling very emotional. I spent that entire 55 minute drive home just in silence. I didn't even want to listen to music. <sighs> I'm just stressed. I'm so stressed out. I have never felt this like just emotionally drained, defeated after a market. And it wasn't even really the market itself doing that. There's so many things happening right now. I still am so itchy from my poison oak. Um, I know that's, that's not like a big reason, but I'm sure that's part of it, of what is upsetting me. Tax day is tomorrow. Like this shows I have seven days of markets in April. And like really at this point, like moment I'm not I'm not making money because I started doing this in August and I wasn't expecting to make money like even the first year is probably a big ask to start making money but I thought I could cover my PayPal credit payments and I'm still like like I just paid off our honeymoon which was last summer and so like right now I'm still paying things for the chunky bee starting out and I had a big I have a big payment due this month and I thought for sure I would already have the money set aside ready for it because everything I make from markets goes straight to like my PayPal credit. I like am nowhere near having that money so I'm extra stressed by it. this point. I only have one day left. This is so funny. One day left of shows like there, there's no way. I don't I don't perform like that in this show. I'll go into the numbers later, but like in one day, normally what I make is what I made in three days on like the low end. So um, we're struggling. Like today I made $34 and I'm just stressed. I'm stressed. Um, and like I've been on the verge of tears since yesterday, really. <laughs> so... Yeah, just to give you an idea of like real life when you do this, it's not, I've obviously, I like I've had videos where I'm like really excited <laughs> um, and like me and what to me like is doing well, other persons, other people might be like, that's not worth it to me. Um, so like expectations. Are different I don't know where I'm going with this yeah okay um, I'm gonna go inside and put on some itching cream and I need to get out of this dress because it was sweaty it's my first time ever unloading and or not unloading loading up like packing up after all by myself I definitely did not lift with my legs as much as I should have um, but I was so sweaty because it was 77 degrees all of a sudden when it was time to pack up. So the dress had some cute little sweat marks on it. All right. I'll see you. Probably, I'm probably not going to do it tomorrow. But for you guys in a second and for me, who knows, like this week sometime. <laughs> Bye. Hey, welcome to my kitchen. I'm only filming here because it's gloomy outside and I have no energy in me to put up a ring light to make the lighting nice and this is actually pretty decent right now so it has been way longer than a second for me than it has for you it's 
like a week and two days after the market. So it's time to update you. It's time. I am still pretty fresh in my mind so I can go through everything. I did not have, you saw in the last clip, I was feel I was feeling the feels, right? And it wasn't only just the market, it was other things. I am still recovering from my poison oak. So if you just want an idea of like how bad it is, we're three weeks and a day past having poison oak and we are still rash and hard. My leg, although it's gonna be like discolored for months because that's just what happens to my skin probably other people too but like i have very pale skin so um i my whole thigh is purple and there's still like active rashes and i still have rashes in other places too like the poison oak has not went away yet but a ton of it has so like this is amazing this is amazing still very very itchy very itchy. A little concerned that maybe there's poison oak oil residue somewhere that I'm not, like, haven't cleaned off enough yet. And maybe that's why, like, I've, I've been getting secondary rashes. I don't know. I don't know. But that is what is happening with my skin. So, I did the math. I forget your name, I apologize. I know you're watching because you say you watch my vlogs and you asked specifically, can I get a breakdown of um, not only what you sold, how much your booth was, but also like, um, like a rough estimate of materials. And <laughs> I had so much time on Sunday at the market, I went ahead and calculated that for you. And that is what put me in such a bad mood, <laughs> not you, <laughs> but like actually doing the numbers seeing how much I lost that is what put me in a sad mood because I lost not only money <laughs> I lost time I could have just spent with my family you know you know okay let's get into it so it was a three-day market it was Friday Saturday Sunday technically Friday was only three hours and um I would have set up Friday anyways like I don't think having a market on Friday is necessarily a bad thing but like I knew going in it wasn't going to be amazing so that was VIP night VIP night you had to spend $20 to get in um every vendor had two tickets they could share and so actually one of my friends ended up coming and um she used like the free ticket so VIP night on Friday, um, I had five sales. That's the wrong market I'm looking at. So I have, I don't have it broken down by like the day of like what sold, but I have everything that sold. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14. 16 sales in three days. Three days, 16 sales. My stuff ranges from $5 all the way up to 45 being the most expensive. So what sold is two of my anxious sweatshirts and my coping skills, a t-shirt, two of my sweatshirt misfits, three strawberry cups, although two of them were free because I did a promo on VIP night, like free, uh, some, whatever, gift with purchase. So like really just one of them sold, sold. Two free earrings, more free stuff. <laughs> that doesn't really even count in those sales. So let's just say 14 sales total for the three days. <laughs> um, a custom bookmark, two custom charm necklaces, three regular bookmarks, and then one saddish coping skills sweatshirt. And then lastly, which is actually my last sale of the market, because on Sunday I only sold two things. We'll get into that. Um, I sold a one of my Kim Kardashian embroidered sweatshirts. I don't sell those online. I just sell them at my markets. I should probably put them online because I think they're funny. Um, but the girl, she had been looking at my stuff for a while, and I was like, in down in spirits right it's sunday i've the market's about to end in an hour i've only sold a cup at this point 14 dollars and so she was still looking at myself looking at myself and then she came up to me and she's like 
um, there is dirt on this. Can I get a discount? And she didn't say, like, this is no fault to her. She didn't say how much off she wanted. There was a tiny speck of dirt, like, obviously in transport or something. It had rubbed against something. It was a white sweatshirt. Um, for sure, 100%, I knew it was going to come out in the wash. She knew it was going to come out in the wash. It was literally just, like, brown dirt, right? Um, and she was like, how much will you give it to me for? And at that point in my mind, I've lost money. I already knew, I already did the math here. So I just like, couldn't even think. I was like, um, you could have it for $20. I gave her over half off for a little speck of dirt. Um, dumb, dumb. But you know what? Had I said like, I'll take, give you $5 off. Maybe she would like, eh, I'll pass. So I'm not necessarily upset at myself for doing that, but I am. <laughs> I also need to change my battery real quick cool awesome at six percent battery let's get through this um and so here are the breakdowns materials i like of stuff that sold the amount of money i spent to do it not i'm not including time at all i'm not adding time into the price um so just base materials um i had 128 dollars worth of stuff so um in sales i only did 279 a lot of them were free things like i said i did i gave away a lot of free stuff i did a lot of discount and misfits and so like the numbers just don't really like look great and i know that and um, my booth was 225 dollars. i spent 22 dollars 50 cents in food fyi don't buy stuff there it's really tempting and i always do because like that's something that's exciting uh, trying new foods is part of my experience doing these things but when you're losing money like this my friend ariel brought um not saying she lost money but like she had she was over eating her uh lunchable i'm gonna be doing that in the future i would love to spend five dollars versus fifteen dollars for just a plate of food um i spent 57 dollars in other vendor items again i did this thing where i thought i was gonna make money and so i spent money without actually knowing i made money gonna stop doing that really hard because I found some cute things um fifty dollars in gas actually more than that I just went ahead and went down a little bit um so in total I spent four hundred eighty two dollars and fifty cents to be there I lost money clearly right <laughs> um so my total loss not including any of my time is two hundred three dollars and fifty cents so in three days right I lost those three days too I was not doing well. Uh, am I upset in the market itself? No, I'm not. They were great. Like everyone there was amazing as far as like, that was the first market I felt really good about the people around me where it didn't feel like it was a f like flea market, just people plopping tables down, right? Um, the businesses there were A plus. There was a lot of competition. I just obviously did not appeal to a lot of those people um and that's gonna happen it sucks but it's gonna happen uh they did give like if you signed up for their next market while you were there i had like 75 dollars in coupons they gave me and i wanted so bad to sign up for another one because like that was a good deal i would only get a table for like 150 ish dollars um which i think will be worth it as i build like my reputation there and as the market builds and get more it's people too um but I at that point I'd lost two hundred dollars I was like I can't like I already can't pay my PayPal bill with this so um I can't do I can't sign up for another one so that sucks so hopefully so I already signed I've already paid and signed up for two more in the future so I'm hoping they get better as time goes and um yeah we'll see how it how it goes I really like Troy like don't get me wrong I really like Troy it's just um, Friday was really slow and Sunday was really slow. Saturday was good though, but I also didn't like sell that much. So, don't know. I don't know. I need that college age uh, range. And they were there, but they weren't, it was not like majority or anything. Um, so, yeah, we'll see how, we'll see what happens. We'll see what happens. Um, and I'm just going to keep making things and keep doing these market vlogs. I have so many more. I've already signed up and paid. Can't back out. I might just have to readjust my thinking for like next year's markets. It's a live and you learn. So I will say that a million times. It also makes me feel better. Um, that is what happened. And you'll see me in another market vlog. Um, I have another market this upcoming weekend. So we're in season. Thank you for watching. Please subscribe if you like these and um, leave in the comments.
whatever, just say hi to me. Really, just say hi. I will always respond. So, love you so much. Goodbye. I just need to clear my head.